Welcome to our Cognitive Economics project for our coursework, KMK 2023. Our group members are Simi, Yishan, Valentina, Valentini, Vivian, and Carmen, that's me. In this project, we will be evaluating the workplace systems of local fire stations. We would like to extend our gratitude to the team of firefighters at Padungan Fire Station and Kota Samarahan Fire Station for their kind cooperation and guidance. The mission of a fire station is to protect the lives and property of the community from fires, natural disasters, hazardous material accidents, and also to save cats from trees. Meow. This is the HTA diagram for the dispatch unit. When an emergency occurs, the caller contacts the fire department. The call can be linked to the response center or to the direct line of the local fire station. Calls received at the response center will be directed to the relevant fire station and then to the dispatch unit for immediate action to be taken. The standard operation time from receiving the call to the time the firefighters depart from the fire station should not take more than 60 seconds. The first problem that we have identified is related to the workspace environment. Prolonged exposure to various loud noises from the work environment would lead to noise-induced hearing loss among firefighters. The siren of the fire engine can reach to a piercing level of 120 decibels. To tackle this problem, Firecom UHW51 wireless headset shall be introduced. This special headset is completely wireless and antenna-free. The Firecom headset is able to reduce noise by 24 decibels. Furthermore, it is a standalone intercom system and may also be integrated with a mobile radio that allows constant communication among the rescue team. There is an adjustable overhead strap which can easily accommodate the use of helmets. Furthermore, it has a long-lasting battery that would last for 24 hours. 
The second problem identified is the user's problem, which is the firefighter's uniform. Poor size fitting of firefighter's uniform will affect work performance and bring greater risk in terms of safety and health. A firefighter's uniform consists of a helmet, a full body suit, a pair of safety boots, and hand gloves. Here is the feedback of our group member, Vivin Tra, regarding the firefighter's uniform. This shirt is too heavy. This one, you cannot control because the agility is too low. You see, how can you do something very smooth and little with the hand like this? <laughs> Thus, the solution to this problem is by introducing the Advanced Firefighting Apparatus, AFA. AFA is an assistant equipment which applies two new technologies, namely the carrying capacity and personal mobility. The AFA exoskeleton suit is able to carry up to 91 kilograms of body weight. It transfers the user's weight load directly to the ground. This increases the agility in movement, making the firefighter lighter and faster. We present to you the firefighting apparatus. In addition, the Impulse Water Gun System is an existing technology which uses air pressure to provide high discharge velocity of water from the hose line. The following is a user problem, which arises with the control room operator. In this system, each fire station has its own local helpline. A maximum of two calls can be received at one time. So, what happens if there is a third incoming call? The line will be engaged, therefore, the call will be put on hold. Our solution is to have a centralized helpline by only dialing to MERS, which is 999. The MERS system consists of CTI, CAD, and GIS. The third problem is related to task and function. The equipment involved here is the hose wheel. Firstly, there is time constraint to coil up the hose after an operation. The current method is extremely tiresome, which causes backaches and posture problems for the firefighters. We would like to present to you our solution, the Delivery Hose Carler. Finally, it is time to evaluate our work system. In this study, our stakeholders are firefighters. For the data collection, we did an unstructured interview with the firefighters. They were asked to describe their responsibilities and problems faced during operation. Open-ended questions were used to encourage in-depth feedback. Besides that, verbal protocol was conducted, where the firefighters were given relevant questions as they demonstrated their tasks. Through this process, firefighters were prompted to think of the difficulties that they might encounter. In addition, a few of our members also participated in the routines to evaluate the work system. conducted a focus group to evaluate our proposed design with hopes to improve the work system of the fire departments. During this session, a structured interview was conducted among eight firefighters. This provided us with suggestions and feedbacks from firefighters regarding our newly proposed design. Thank you for watching our video.